Hey everybody, welcome to the Creativity Cave. I'm Dina Rico and I am super excited about these three cards that I have to share with you because they're super duper easy. They pretty much use exactly the same stuff for each card, just a different color card base as you can see. And it uses an amazing color combination with new colors from our color revamp, the Gorgeous Grape, the Returning Coastal Cabana, and the new Granny Apple Green. I love these three colors together. They're just fun and happy. So let me show you how easy it is to put these together. I'm focused with one set, and I did pull in one other stamp set for a sentiment, but I'm using the Happy Celebrations. Now this set is being retired so you only have until May 31st, which is like one more day to order this. So make sure you check that out. If you don't get this, you might be disappointed. I really like this set. It makes such easy, quick cards. That's my favorite part about it. It's got all these fun little pieces in here. And by the way, none of these are to size. Everything is quite a bit bigger, as you can see. So these are shrunk down to fit on the front of the stamp case. So this stamp set is really pretty awesome. And the cards that I'm making are really easy. So first of all, I'm going to start by protecting my work surface with some scratch paper. Then I've got, like I said, the same exact thing for each card. I've got a half a sheet of cardstock in one of those three colors. Then I've got a a uh, three and three quarters by five inch piece of basic black, and then a three and five eighths by four and seven eighths piece of Whisper White for each card. Okay, so let's take and start. It's really easy. The first thing I'm going to do is open my ink pads. So like I said, I've got garbage, Gorgeous Grape, Coastal Cabana, and finally Granny Apple Green, which is quickly becoming one of my favorite colors, I might just add. And as we all know, Coastal Cabana is the color that we know lets us know that God loves us. <laughs> I do love this color. All right, and I'm going to take this kind of swooshy image, and the first card literally couldn't be any easier. I'm going to ink that up and just stamp it down just slightly off of center, okay? I'm going to clean my stamp off with my new favorite cleaning tool, which is the stamp and Chamois. This will be available on Friday which I'm very excited about. So I just clean that off. It's clean and ready to go. I'll switch over to my next color, which will be Gorgeous Grape. I'll just ink that up. And I'm gonna flip it around and stamp it down. Okay, similarly, clean and stamp. This time in Granny Apple Green, like so. Okay, so there's my basic card. Pretty easy, right? Next, I'll take the Celebrate, also from the same, same stamp set, and I'm gonna ink this up in Archival Black Ink. I want it to be really black black, uh, so I'm using Archival Black. You can also use Stays On Black, and I'm just gonna stamp that right over all three of these swooshes. All right, and ooh, that looks good. Okay, now you know, I gotta dress it up just a little. So I took my black marker and did just a touch of spritzing. If you've never seen me spritz, oh my gosh, are you prepared? You might wanna be sitting down if you aren't already because this is pretty awesome. Now, you wanna prepare your surface by moving things out of the way. So I'm taking all my cards and just moving them because spritzing isn't what I would call the cleanest activity in the world. So I just kind of cleared off my immediate space and then I'm putting my marker into the cap of my marker and flicking. That's it. Okay, one flick is all I needed. And check that out. How cool is that? Okay, so I've got that spritzed up. I'm all set. Let's put my card together. And I probably won't actually assemble the other two cards after I do this one, just because you'll kind of get the idea of how they all come together, because they're all exactly the same, same dimensions, same materials, just a different color card base. And really, you could use the same color card base. It doesn't matter. Oh, I think I cut these a little <laughs> larger than my sample. But that's fine. Okay, so on this one... I'll put it on my black card base. Now the last thing I'm going to do, or not black, this is gorgeous great. The last thing I'm going to do is embellish this with a few little sequins, okay? I love adding sequins. They're so trendy right now. 
They're really fun to add just a little bit of sparkle to a card without much thickness. So let me show you how I do that. I'm going to use, as you can see, I'm just popping up this panel onto my card with some dimensionals. I'm going to use some fine tip glue to do this. And we're just going to unscrew this cap, the little thing right here. And then here I'll bring in my sample so you can see what I'm doing. I'm just going to add some sequins. I think sequins look good in odd numbers, but that is completely up to you. So I'll just put three little dots up there and two dots down there. And then we're going to add sequins. Now I'm using the metallics. You could also use the iridescent for this because they would actually coordinate just fine. And the metallics, I will pick black sequins out, but you could do any color really that's in here and it would look great. But I kind of like the black just for the sake of a little contrast, you know. So I'm using this little china pen um, to pick up my sequins. I'm just going to touch those on. I got an extra. There we go. That piece was just kind of hanging on. All right, I love um, this china pen because it just sort of sticks to my sequins, which is fun. All right, so there's one, two. Let's see if we can find a little one in here. Not sure if there are little, little black ones or not. No, well, this one's pretty small, so we'll tack that one right there. Okay, so there are my sequins. Really nice. And by the way, here is my Charno marker. Um, you've probably seen these in black before, but they also come in white. Okay, so there's my first card. That was a piece of cake. Well, let me show you the other two because they are, as well, quite easy. Now, the next one, I brought in some of the other images from my stamp set that I wanted to play with. And I've got this kind of splattery looking thing. And I'm gonna ink that up in some Coastal Cabana and just sort of stamp that here at the bottom of my paper, like so. Pretty cool. Then I've got a triangle and two sizes of circles that I'm going to use. Now the other thing that I love about this stamp set is that these shapes are so easy to use and you can layer them and combine them, you know, use them together or separate. So on here, I'm going to ink up the smaller circle in my gorgeous grape, stamp off a layer, and then stamp it right there. I will do the same thing with Granny Apple Green, stamp it off and add it right here. And then finally, I've got this triangle where I'm going to stamp that off and add it right there. And when I do this, I was totally thinking that this card reminds me of the 1980s. <laughs> I um, just couldn't help but think of that. So, all right, so I've got my Celebrate, which I'm going to stamp once more in black archival ink. Ha <laughs> ha! Perfect. And then, you know, I gotta spritz it. Okay, looking good. Now, I also took one of the other images from the stamp set, Good Times, and I'm just gonna stamp it right here at the bottom. Okay, so celebrate Good Times. And then I can embellish with sequins if I want. One more card. So I'll show you the final version of that. So I just put three sequins on there. And I did smudge my card right there, but you didn't notice it till I pointed it out, did you? <laughs> okay, so this is my Celebrate Good Times card. Last but not least, we've got the Thank You Very Much. This is the one stamp I used outside of the stamp set. And Thank You Very Much is from Thoughtful Thanks. Yes, Thankful Thoughts. I was close. Okay, so let me show you how that card came together. I basically just kind of did what I did in this last card but kind of added a little bit more so I'm gonna stamp my little splattery image right there in my coastal cabana and I'm gonna repeat that up here at the top like so 
Okay, so I've got two of those on here. Then I'm gonna do the same thing. This time I'm gonna, I wanted a nice bright, gorgeous grape circle. So I did a solid one here, here, and here. And then I'm gonna do my granny apple green. I will stamp off again, like I did before. Oops, I got a fuzz on there. Uh, let's get rid of that. I just cleaned off my stamp and I'm going to make sure it's not on there anymore. Nope, I don't see it. Okay, and then we'll stamp that here and once more down there. Okay, well, last but not least, we've got Coastal Cabana triangles to stamp. <laughs> so I'll stamp one there, one there, and one there. Okay, so that just kind of gives us a nice little background here. One more thing though, we're also going to stamp the square. So I cut, die cut a stitched shape square, it's the largest size, and we're gonna stamp our background once more. Now I'm gonna change this up a little. I'm gonna stamp off a layer and have it be a little bit more subtle on this one so that it's not quite as intense and in your face. We'll do that with all of the shapes. Okay, so we'll just stamp off those layers. I think I'm doing this a little different from my sample, but that's fine. It doesn't matter. And where'd my triangle go? We'll put a triangle on up here, like so. Then we'll take and stamp our sentiment, um, which, right under here and this way we get a little bit more contrast so I've got thank you very much which fits perfectly on this square like so isn't that awesome and now I think it kind of stands out a little bit which is great all right the last thing I'm going to do which I just realized I did not spritz this card but I think there's kind of a lot going on there so maybe that's okay you certainly could if you wanted but I embellished this with one other thing, and that is some ribbon. So I've got this mini striped ribbon. This is in the Occasions catalog and coordinates with the Tutti Frutti suite of products. And I'm gonna do just a little zigzag. Now to do that, I'm just gonna put some fast views down. You can use snail. And I want my zigzag to just be a little bit larger than my square, but I'm doing it on the diagonal. And kind of in the past, I've done it um, kind of going straight across, but I like the diagonal. It's kind of fun and a little different. And so I'll just trim that off. You can see how I've positioned my square right over the top so I can get the, the sizing right. Okay, I'll literally pick that up and just kind of move things over so that a little bit of, of the ribbon will touch in the adhesive. We'll place that right down onto our card and then we're gonna pop this up right over the top. So I'll just put a couple of dimensionals over here and then a couple over here. And you can see I've kind of positioned these so that the ribbon won't touch them, but the ribbon will hold up the rest of my square. So there we go. How cool is that? Now, if you want yours to be centered, you can even do that because <laughs> that's what I want mine to be. So I popped this off. Oops, my ribbon kind of came with it tack that down and then we'll even center it on the card why not there we go that looks good okay and then if I want I can embellish this this time I chose to use some silver sequins so we can do that so thank you so much this is such a cute card I'm gonna put three little drops on here and then I'll be set. Now all the details, dimensions, and supplies that I used can be found on my blog post or on the links below in the description of this video. Make sure to check them out. And of course, if you need to buy any of these supplies, make sure you do that quick because like I said, the stamp set is going to be retired um, as well as this ribbon on the 31st. So this is definitely an act now situation. <laughs> 
but I don't think you'll be disappointed. I've shown many projects using the Happy Celebrations on my blog, so you can do a little search on there and see some of the others. You won't be disappointed with this stamp set, especially if you like quick, easy cards. So I'll bring in my final projects, finished projects, I should say. So you can see them once again. We've got three fantastic cards each a little different, but all using the same stuff. So thank you so much for stamping with me today, guys. Have a great day, and don't forget when you order through the Creativity Cave, you become a VIP rewards member, and I've got all kinds of awesome perks for you when you become a VIP. All those details can be found on my blog. Thanks for stamping again, guys. We'll see you soon. Bye.